So today I'm going to share with you a few different business buying deal structures that you can use right away. Let's get to it. Hey, my name is Mohan Pober and if you don't know me yet, I'm the founder of acquisitions.com and I'm here to help you buy businesses and to also share my journey in that space for many, many years now. So one of the biggest questions I'm getting from people is what can or should I offer for a business that I want to buy? I don't know what should I offer. I only get random numbers from the broker or from the business owner. And how do I know what type of offers can I offer? Let's say I even think that I know what the business is valued at. What, how do I know what's my offer? What are my opportunities? What are the options of different offers that I can make towards the business? And this is what I want to explore today. So definitely make sure you stick with me until the end of the video. So the first type of offer is BIBO or basically buy in, buy out, which means you're making an offer where you can go into the business, buy it, get some equity in the business in order for the seller to eventually buy you out at some point after you achieve a certain value or fixed a certain problem. That's one type of offer you can offer. The second one I want to share is SIBO or S-I-B-O, which means consulting in, buying out. Many deals that you can do is basically offer some kind of value in terms of consulting, but then buy out a specific share in that business. There are tons of different ways you can structure it. It can be you adding value in return for equity. It can be you, first of all, adding value and only if and when you achieve a specific milestone, then you get equity for that consulting services, for the value that you bring to the table. But it basically means you doing some work and then basically translate that work or translate that growth into equity in the business. Another type of structure is LBO, leverage buyout, which means that this is usually being done for businesses with good assets or good cash flow. That means that you're going to financial institutions and you're leveraging the business assets or cash flow in order to pay at least the down payment towards that business. And then the rest of it is being structured over a period of time which is basically paying back the debt or the money that you raised, but you're paying back the money that you raised using the business cash flow. So you bought a business, but you're using that business cash flow to pay back on the money that you raised. That's leverage buyouts. I go and read the book by the name of Barbarians at the Gate. This is uh, a book about one of the most famous uh, leverage buyouts out there. And you can see that those are deals that being done out there literally billion dollar deals for no money down at all by leveraging business assets in order to do that. Another structure is WIBO or W-I-B-O, which means work in, buy out. Now, it's very similar to consulting, uh, buy out. And it's, the difference is that basically it's you offering to work in the business in return to eventually get equity in the business or to have the option to buy the business. Let's say you want to do some work and you first of all just want to do extended due diligence on a deal. You want to make sure that you familiar with the business or you even want to be familiar with the business. That's a great opportunity to start your way into working in the business first and then having an option or translations into equity by doing the work in the business. The next deal structure I want to present to you is a merger. A merger is basically you either taking your company and bringing another one or you as a deal maker bringing two companies together and taking equity in the play. If you want to learn more about that, look in a new tab inside my channel and search for reverse exits and you'll learn some opportunities and case studies on deals that can be done that way. It's a very exciting opportunity for you to bring two companies that are similar, complementary a little bit, maybe even competitors, and then take a percentage from the overall new group that you create by adding that value to both sides. Two other deal structures that I want to share with you are earnouts and deferred payments. The difference is that with earnouts, it means that you basically pay towards the acquisition using the business cash flow over time, but you only pay that specific amount that you negotiated if and when the business meets a specific milestone that you negotiated on. Deferred payment means that you pay the seller over a period of time, but those payments are basically guaranteed, right? So there's no milestones involved in those payments. Those are very common structures 
to add into a deal as well. So those are some of the deal structures that I work with my clients on. There are more deal structures, but in the end of the day, it's all about finding the right strategy that works for you. I wanted to open your eyes on what's possible. And in the end of the day, you gotta know how to position yourself when you pitch in those deals and have the right credibility to do that, which is exactly why I created this video on how to have credibility in deals. So I highly suggest you to go and check that video right now and I'll see you there in a bit.